One step closer. <laughs> technology. Thank you, technology. Let's do it. All right, everybody good? Do it. We're going to start with the lower body. This is the easy one because it's, there's less in it. So we start with the easy ones. We're going to start with the uh, sartorius, the tailor's muscle, and the gracilis. These are easy, big muscles. They're hard to miss. Then we go over to the other side, the other big muscles in the leg. We have the tensor fasciolata, which is this one right here. It's sort of like a weird-shaped muscle that tenses the IT band right here. Then we have the gluteus maximus, which is a small one, and the gluteus medius right here. Next, we have the biceps femoris, a big one. You guys should all know this one because it's really easy. Then there's this one, the cauto femoralis. This one is good to ask insert origin insertion questions for because it's got like the it's a like really easy trick question because it connects to the caudal vertebrae, but it inserts on the patella. All right, trick question. That's a good one for you. All right, next we're going to go to the deep leg. So underneath the gracilis, we see here, this one here is the pectineus. Really tough to see. It's tiny in, in there. This one right here is the adductor, the adductor femoris, I believe. No, that's the adductor longus. The adductor longus, and then this one is the adductor femoris. Oh, God. Stand by. Stand by. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. It's going to be all these videos. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Adductor longus. Adductor okay, so yes, this is the adductor longus and this is the adductor femoris. Then this is the semimembranosus, and this one right here is the semitendinosus that I've sort of just ripped off right here. <laughs> All right, then underneath the sartorius, we have the vastus medialis right here. And then there's the rectus femoris right here. <laughs> Underneath the rectus femoris, we see a tiny little muscle in there. Mm -hmm. Underneath the vastus medialis, it's called the vastus intermedius. Mm -hmm. On the other side, we have the vastus lateralis. These are your quadriceps group. Okay, on the, underneath the biceps femoris, we can easily see the semitendinosus, the semimembranosus from the other side, and the sciatic nerve. Then we can also see the gastrocnemius right here. The gastrocnemius is really interesting because it sits on top of two other muscles. Let's see if I can get them out here for you. Mm -hmm. okay, there it is. This one isn't separated out very well. Let me see if I can get under it. I feel like Frank would get pissed every time. Come on. All right, let's try it on the other side. I like to do this one because people get confused about which muscles are right underneath the gastrocnemius. So right here, we can see the gastrocnemius right here. There's a soleus right there. And then this one right here is flexor halicus longus. Mm -hmm. There's three muscles here, but only one of them can, you can see from the ventral side. On the dorsal side, when you flip it over, you can only really see flexor halicus longus here. Soleus is really deeply um, snugged in there. Next, we're going to talk about these muscles here on the tibia. We have tibialis anterior. Then we have extensor digitorum longus. Then we have uh, peroneus longus and peroneus tertius, which is this tiny one right here. Okay. And then we have between them peroneus brevis. Moving these aside. We have the other side, which is tibialis posterior, and then flexor digitorum longus. That's most of the lower body. There's a few more things we have to talk about, such as the abdominal wall here. We have our transverse, of, is that transverse abdom Yeah, we have our transverse abdominis, which has fiber patterns that run mostly this way. Then we have our internal oblique, which has fiber patterns that mostly run this way. And then we have our external oblique here as fiber patterns that run mostly this way. And then there's a rectus abdominis. I believe this one doesn't really show a very good rectus abdominis, unfortunately. But it would have fiber patterns that run straight up and down. Then on the other side, we have, underneath this nice little thing, we have our spinalis dorsi, our longissimus, our longissimus, and our longissimus.
So these are all longissimus dorsi. They have names. There's longissimus, uh, I believe it's medialis, uh, intermedius, and then lateralis. Uh, but that's probably not going to be on your test. If I pin one of these, I'll probably just ask for which longus, if it's longissimus or spinalis dorsi. Moving on from there, let's go to the <coughs> upper body, since we've just done all of the lower body. All right, pretty simple, right? That's only like five minutes. Here, we have our latissimus pretty dorsi. <laughs> yeah, so here we have our latissimus dorsi. Moving it aside, we have our... Uh, Spinalis dorsi here, our longissimus here, and then underneath this, um, what was it called? Oh, something, then dorsalis, serratus dorsalis, we have our iliocostalis right here. Okay? So this is our serratus dorsalis. Let's put this down and take a look at some of the dorsal lower, uh, upper back muscles. So here we have the spinotrapezius, this one right here. This one is, of course, a latissimus dorsi. Spinotrapezius. This one, round one right here, a chromiotrapezius. Here, this one right here, clavotrapezius. And then down, we have to do the deltoids now. The, delta, the spinodeltoid is this circular one right here. Then we have leva levator scapulae ventralis, which is this one right here. It sort of hasn't been very well taken out, but it would be this one right here. Then we have a chromiodeltoid, which is this one right here, and clavodeltoid, which is this one right here. Moving down the arm, we have the triceps brachii. This is the lateral head. This is the long head. And underneath this, underneath these, this is the lateral head reflected. We have this one right here. Oh, it's not very well. It doesn't look very good. See if I can move some of this stuff Particular around. Particular formation. This one right here is the anconius. It wraps around the elbow. And then we have this this one right here, which is the medial head of the triceps. And right here we have the brachialis. It's much easier to see on the other side. When we move the epitrochlearis, which is this one, aside, you can see the brachialis muscle right here. Okay? Let's take a look at some of the muscles down here. So here we have the latissimus dorsi wrapping around. This one right here is the ziphi humoralis. This one right here is the pectoralis minor. This one is pec major. And this one is pecto anti brachialis. All right, the way I remember these one is usually P, 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 X. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Works for me. That's what, that's what, worked, that's what worked for me. It was really silly, but I, that's how I did it. Let's take a look at some of the lower body, uh, the, the deep lower body muscles. Here, we see a whole bunch of stuff, but there's an easy way to see what we're looking at. So this one right here is the, in, the external abdominal oblique. It goes all the way up here, all the way up here to this one right here, which is the transverse costarum. Then we have this long one right here, which is scalanus medius. Then this one right here is scalanus anterior, and this one right here it's a little tough to see, is scalanus posterior. Rubbing it gently, it's really tiny. <laughs> then there's a levator scapulae dorsalis, which is wedged in here. It's sort of hard to see, and I can never really find it very well. I believe it's this muscle right here. And then we have um, serratus ventralis, which is this fan-shaped muscle right here. Let's take a look at some of the ones <coughs> on the upper body now. So if I move this aside like this, oh, we get this really good view of all the muscles on the inside. This one is rhomboideus capitis. This one right here is rhomboideus minor. I usually have it denoted right here. At this line right here, I usually say that this is rhomboideus minor, and this one right here is rhomboideus major. Then we have um, splenius muscle right here. All right? Not the capitis? The capitis is actually this one. This one's capitis. Underneath it is the splenius. Okay. Okay. Ugh, there's a lot of stuff on the upper body. Home stretch. Home stretch. Let's take a look at some of these muscles here. This is our brachioradialis. Then this one right here, this little one, is, uh, or is that one? I believe it's that's actually a two-headed muscle. This one right here is extensor carpi radialis longus. 
This one is extensor digitorum communis. This one is extensor digitorum lateral lateralis, I believe. Oh, God. Oh, we'll go with it. Let's, let's, just, let's just go with it. Services. Let's not go with it. Services. It's extensor digitorum lateralis. Okay, so let's do it again. Extensor carpi radialis longus. Extensor digitorum communis. Extensor digitorum lateralis. And then this one right here, right on the ulna, is extensor carpi ulnaris. Moving on to the other side from the ulna. We have this one right here. Oh, rat. It's not very well dissected. Cats. Cat. I feel like I'm a paparazzi right now. Oh, hey, Frank. <laughs> this one right here. This one right here is. Uh, what was it? It's, okay, so all of these ones are flexors. All the ones on the top are extensors. So this one is flexor carpi ulnar. Or fle no, it's not flexor carpi. It's yeah. flexor. Just a moment. Flexor carpi ulnaris. That's right. So this one right here, this one, the really long and thin one, is palmaris longus. These ones were not very well dissected out. Palmaris Jeez. longus. Where is that? No, that's not Palmaris longus. This one's Palmaris longus. Oh my god. Sorry, racist. Start off. Start, oh. over. Start, over. Start over. All right. This one here is Flexor carpi ulnaris. This one here is Palmaris longus. This one here is Flexor carpi radialis. It's sort of like a two headed muscle that's right here. And then this one right here is pronator teres. All right? That's all the muscles on the arm. There's nine of them. Next would be the neck. I don't know the neck well enough to do this. So this is where we're going to stop. Yep.